Hi guys, my name is Kelsey and I'm here to help you get started with your new Apprenticescope account. Okay, I, we are in our users tab. So down at the bottom left, our user management page refers to all users within my organization. So um, I'm seeing a list of everyone, you know, not just apprentices. I see my admins, my mentors, and this is across all employers that we partner with. Um, so that's why it's called your user management page. You're able to manage all users. If you need to, um, let's say Alex is no longer uh, a sponsor or an employee at Apprenticescope, I can come in to the three dots to the right of his name and delete him or deactivate his account. So deleting him, his profile and all information associated with it will be permanently deleted. If I deactivate his account, he'll, he won't be able to log in until you reactivate it. Um, if I need to uh, change Billy Bob from his employer, from Siemens to a different employer, I can come in, edit his profile, change his employer. I can change his user type if you've decided, uh, I think he should be a mentor or supervisor. You can do that here. Click save. Um, and then also uh, from your user management page, you can in the invitations tab, you can see all invitations that have gone out to people. So in a lot of organizations, we see that for some reason, our emails don't go through, um, you know, due to IT blocking some, some spam emails of sorts. Um, so if that's happening, you can come in and say and see, okay, I sent out this invitation to this person, but it has not gone through to their email. I can come to these three dots over here and click to copy their invite link. So this will copy a URL to your clipboard. You can send this person the URL directly and then they'll be able to create their account from that link. So that's just a way to bypass um, the invitation not going through to their email. And then this reminders tab up here, this is a way of mass communicating with um, either apprentices or just everyone in your organization. So you can click create reminder and um, actually, we'll just go off this example. So uh, if I need to remind everyone to submit their OJT before uh, the end of the week, you can create a reminder that, you know, label it how you see fit, provide a description, and then whatever's in this message uh, block, this is what will be in the email body. So you can choose um, who this reminder should go to only one uh, party at a time and then you can choose all employers um, and then when it goes out so does it go out every week at um, you know starting February 11th and then after it's set up all reminders go out at 8 a.m. on uh, the frequency that you set it up for and then of course you can turn off you can always turn off these Great, so that's it for your users tab.